and khamr, which is alcohol, or those drinks which intoxicate, this is the root of all evil. And then when it comes to food, then food is generally categorized into two different types, and that is uh, animal-based food and non-animal-based food. Animals are two types, land-based or sea-based. With, re with regards to sea animals, yeah, any fish and the likes, then every type of... Okay, are you studying? No, I'm not. Uh, every type of animal which is in the sea, the, it is halal. Whether it comes out alive or dead, it is halal. Uh, even if the animal which is in the sea it's named with a name which is similar to one upon the land which is haram it is still permitted like for example the eel which is like a snake but because it is in the water in the sea it's permitted now as for land animals so from the animals every animal which is a predator No. So, which contains, I think, the incisors, the teeth, and canines, no. any predator, like, for example, dogs and lions and uh, tigers and such, all of them are haram. And also, any bird which has claws, <laughs> like eagles, and <laughs> who are an eagle or falcon, al no. والغراب نعم and crows نعم uh, because they have claws then they are haram and of course swine pigs and also domesticated donkeys and insects and that which lives off impurities eats impurities even if we possessed a chicken and you notice from this chicken that it is only feeding off impurities then this chicken would be isolated or caged until it is only eating from that which is good and pure, and then it is returned. And then these animals which are halal, in order for them to be eaten, they have to be slaughtered in a manner which is Islamic, either through the slaughtering process, the dhabh, or the nahar for the larger animals, or by hunting. And when it comes to hunting, the condition is that first you have to mention the name of Allah. So if a person shoots the arrow, after mentioning the name of Allah and then you find the animal which has been hit by the arrow and the animal still alive then you slaughter the animal and it is halal and if you find the animal which has been hit by the arrow to have, to have died then you have to look for I... what reason did it die and if for example you found the hunted animal and it was drowning in water maybe it died due to drowning it is haram but if you found the animal and it had died due to the arrow being hunted, and you had said the name of Allah before shooting the arrow, then it is halal. And as for the Islamic process of slaughtering, then that is to slaughter the animals which are halal with a knife which is sharp, and that the blood is discharged from the body. Yeah. And then the two arteries here, they are cut open. And some of the ulama mentioned, and also the throat. But it should not be unnecessarily tortured and harmed. Meaning you're not allowed to break the neck and you have to leave the animal until the blood is discharged from the body. And also you have to mention the name of Allah when slaughtering. And also the one who is slaughtering the animal has to be a Muslim or from the people of the book. Now, not, a mushrik, not a mushrik and nor a fire worship. But from the people of the book, from amongst the Jews and the Christians who follow the scriptures. والله أعلم صلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى صحبه وسلم جزاكم الله خيرا